I had a date last night. It was perfect. Tomorrow, I'll try a grape. Today, I'm going to recap a 2013 action thriller film called Marine 3, Homefront. The movie begins in Bridgeton, a rural town located near Seattle, Washington. Jake Carter tells how he finished school and joined the Marines. He wanted something more out of life, so he decided to take this path. Through his efforts, he became a Navy SEAL and fought in numerous wars during his 10 years of service. Unfortunately, he lost his parents while in the military, but he still has two sisters, who he looks forward to seeing. In fact, now Jake, a member of the U.S. Marine Corps Force Recon and Marine Marsoc, is coming home. When he gets off the bus, he is reunited with his best friend, Harkin, a police chief. Jake tells him that he will stay for two weeks, after which he must return. Harkin helps him with his bags and offers him a ride home. When he returns home, Jake greets his sisters, Lily and Amanda, who throw a party for his return. During the meal, Jake learns that one of the sisters is having trouble sleeping, and the other is about to lose her job. Although they are now mature, he is still very protective of his sisters. Meanwhile in Seattle, a regional bank is invaded by a group of extremists. Their leader, Jonas Pope, reveals to the bank manager that he knows all the members of his family and will kill them if they don't hand over the required amount of money. As soon as the banks with money are emptied, the robbers take half and burn the rest in front of the bank manager. Elsewhere, Jake talks with Amanda about the management of the house. Amanda considers selling the house because she can no longer afford to pay the mortgage. Jake offers to help her, although Amanda doesn't feel comfortable accepting the help. Then they are interrupted by Lily, who is about to go out with her boyfriend, Darren, to a bar. Jake also points out the fact that Lily should continue her studies instead of wasting time. For that matter, Darren doesn't have a good reputation in town because he was arrested for drug possession. Jake leaves the house to talk to Darren but Lily tells him to leave them alone, and then they drive away together. Next, it is revealed that the group of robbers lives in a junkyard on the outskirts of town. Their leader is planning an explosion in the city to take revenge for his past life. The explosives manager, Eckert, complains about their working conditions and the fact that the leader shares little information with them. When Eckert asks which building they will blow up, the leader simply says he will see it the same day. Back to Jake, who dislikes Darren, follows him and his sister to the bar. He orders a beer and meets an old friend, with whom they have a chat. At one point, a man accidentally pushes Jake's friend and ends up arguing with him. Jake's friend gets punched in the face, and Jake tries to calm the other man down. But then the man tries to hit Jake, and the latter smashes his face and knocks him out. Lily sees the scene and leaves with Darren. Harkin, Jake's best friend, witnesses the fight, and then someone calls the police. Harkin warns Jake to control himself and act civilized. Harkin tells him that if he fights again, he will be arrested. Moments later, Amanda arrives to pick up Jake and tells Harkin to call her. Jake looks at her with a suspicious look, and she admits that she is having an affair with Harkin. Next, Lily is with Darren, who is trying to repair his own car. The girl invites him to dinner to get to know Jake better, but Darren declines the invitation. He considers Jake too much of a tough guy who is never satisfied with anything. That same day, Eckert and the leader of the group meet with an explosive smuggler. Eckert pays him and takes the explosives, after which the smuggler says there is a problem with the amount that was to be paid. In the meantime, Lily and Darren are stopped in the same junkyard, and the two witness this scene. The leader becomes enraged and shoots the smuggler. He then orders his henchmen to capture the witnesses when he hears Lily scream. The girl immediately calls her sister and says they are in danger. Immediately afterwards, Amanda calls Jake about it to report everything to him. He gets ready and grabs a rifle, gets into his car, and heads to the junkyard. Jake and Darren are kidnapped and taken to the gang's base. Jake arrives at the junkyard and finds Darren's empty car. Soon after, he surprises a henchman, who takes the smuggler's body away to hide it. Jake manages to hold him at gunpoint, and the henchman reveals to him that the abductees were taken to an old ferry near the junkyard. Suddenly, another henchman comes up behind Jake, and he drops his rifle. When they try to kill him, Jake physically overpowers them and shoots them. After he is done with them, 
Jake calls Amanda and updates her on the situation. Finally, he says that he needs help because the situation is serious and dangerous. He then heads to the ferry near the dump, rifle in hand. On the way, he attacks another supposed henchman, who turns out to be an FBI agent, as Special Agent Wells comes to his aid. Jake and Harkin are taken to the FBI, who informs them that the gang leader is not only kidnapping people, but also bombing cities with the RDX, or Research Department Explosive, a very powerful explosive. Jake is stopped by Wells when he plans to rescue Lily and Darren alone. Instead, Wells orders the SWAT team to storm the dump. Speaking of explosives, the extremist group has already prepared the police car loaded with explosives, and the leader gives a small speech. Later, the leader receives a signal that someone is using a cell phone. He checks the ferry and finds Eckert talking on the phone. He puts a gun to his head and tells him that he is breaking the ground rules. Eckert says he was talking to his pregnant wife, and the leader urges him to call her back, to make sure he is not lying. When it becomes obvious that Eckert is valid, the leader tells him to warn him the next time he wants to call her. Later, the leader approaches Lily because she keeps shouting. The man explains to her the reasons behind their actions, saying that the world is not fair, and that some people make large amounts of money without benefiting society. The leader is good at manipulating people and manages to calm Lily down. Then a henchman arrives and stays to keep an eye on Lily. The man approaches Lily and begins to touch her. She starts screaming, attracting the attention of another henchman, who ends up killing the guy who was abusing. Subsequently, Lily is untied by the henchman, who is actually an FBI agent in disguise. As the agent takes Lily away, Another henchman discovers the dead body on the ground and informs the leader. They soon realize they are surrounded by special forces agents who prepare to storm the base. A gang sniper kills a couple of the men. Jake realizes that the FBI agent's plan will endanger Lily's life and tries to fight Wells, but Harkin stops him. Wells orders Jake's arrest and Harkin obeys. After they also free Darren, the FBI agent leads them to a room and tells them to lock it until he returns. The extremist group arms itself and prepares for the arrival of the special forces. They put themselves in an advantageous strategic position and start shooting. A violent firefight breaks out. The bad guys have the upper hand. It soon becomes obvious that this is the FBI's first defeat and a special forces agent in the battle demands that the attack be called off. Agent Wells remains silent, and soon all the agents on the battlefield are killed. Darren and Lily don't listen to the agent who saved them and leave the room. Harkin takes Jake away. He removes his handcuffs and gives him a weapon. Although he is a police chief, he is still his best friend and accompanies him to the dump so he can save his sister and Darren. Harkin realizes there will be consequences for his career, but at the same time he knows he is doing the right thing. So Jake runs to the ferry near the dump. The undercover agent calls Agent Wells and updates him on the situation. But at that moment, a goon is behind and shoots him in the head. In the meantime, Lily and Darren try to find their way off the ferry and are spotted. They escape into a room and block the door. Lily goes out the window, but is soon caught by Eckert. At that moment, another henchman manages to get in, but ends up being slaughtered by Darren with a piece of iron. Darren then takes his gun, and Eckert walks away with Lily. Jake arrives at the ferry and scans the enemy position. He later manages to get onto the roof without being seen, and kills the first henchman by shoving a piece of iron into his chest. Lily is taken to the leader, and at that moment, Amanda calls her phone. The leader answers and asks Amanda to pass the phone to Wells. The leader tells him to send an unarmed policeman in a Satan to escort them downtown, if he doesn't arrive within 20 minutes, Lily will die. Back to Jake, who gets on the ferry, walks over, and shoots a henchman, but unfortunately, the sound attracts the attention of others. A fight breaks out, and Jake eliminates them one by one, but he has a problem with a henchman named Gabriel. When the set-in arrives, Eckert kills the policeman driving it, and puts on his uniform. They then swap the license plates on the cars. Jake gets inside and fights hand-to-hand -hand against Kazel, one of the strongest men in the group. After a long, bloody fight, Jake manages to kill him, and then shoots another henchman who was coming up from behind him. 
Jake continues to search for his sister on the ferry and meets Darren. The young man, feeling guilty about Lily's captivity, leads Jake to where the sit-in is. Once there, Jake tells him to leave because he will take care of it himself. In the process, the leader explains the plan to Eckert, and Lily overhears everything. The girl asks why they are doing this, and points out that many innocent people will die. The leader claims that by doing so, they will be remembered, and their message will be heard. Jake comes out and orders his sister's release, but is stopped by Galen Jackson, the leader's brother in arms. Jake is violently beaten, and Lily is taken inside the car. Suddenly, Jackson falls down, because he is injured, at which time the leader gets up and runs away. Jackson tells the others to leave and complete the plan, while he stays behind to take care of Jake. Afterwards, the Satan pulls away, and the leader calls Amanda. The woman hands the phone to Wells, and the agent is warned that if they do not leave them alone, he will kill Lily. Nevertheless, after the call, Wells informs the other agents of the Roma's enemies. Returning to the protagonist, Jackson searches for Jake, but is killed by Darren. In this way, the young man gains Jake's respect, who finds a map left by the leader and begins to study it. Determined to save the town, he takes a dirt bike and speeds away. When the leader and Eckert reach the city, they are suddenly ambushed by the FBI. They try to escape somehow, but are soon surrounded. The agents order them out of the car, but the leader activates the bomb inside the sedan. The two get out of the car and start shooting, causing a fight. The leader takes Lily hostage and tries to escape, while Eckert continues to cover him. Eventually, Eckert is killed by an FBI agent. Soon after, Harkin arrives in his car and orders the gang leader to stop. Jake arrives and kills the enemy with numerous shots. Lily tells them that there is an activated bomb inside the sedan. Thus, Jake drives the car to an abandoned site near the river and manages to escape the untimely explosion. Harkin, Lily, and Amanda arrive in the car, and the two sisters embrace him. Finally, Darren also arrives, and Lily is amazed. She runs to him, and they start kissing, while Jake watches them smiling. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.